Good Saturday morning to you ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609. The old drug dealer, I guess. I went to the HEB pharmacy to pick up the eye drops for my coming upcoming cataract surgery. And while I was there, since some of you had recommended Advil or Tylenol for pain relief from this surgery I've had, uh, I decided better follow through on it because I had taken Tylenol when I was in the Peace Corps for a dental condition and it made all the difference in the world. <clears throat> so I decided to get some. So, but anyway, I went to the pharmacy to pick up the eye drops. The pharmacist was there, so I thought I'd ask. I said, you know, for pain relief, like say from surgery or whatever, which would be better, Tylenol or Advil? And he said, well, are you having any bleeding? I said, no. I thought, no. Not that I'm aware of. He said, well, then he would go with ibuprofen, Advil type stuff. Why? Because it's longer lasting and it provides more general pain relief than Tylenol. Is that good? I don't know. I'm sure 15 people are going to disagree with that. But that's what he said. So anyway, I bought me some. I took one at 9 o'clock. Right now it's about 10. And yeah, it's, um, I can tell it's making a, a difference. It, it's 200 milligrams, the one I got. It's the store brand of uh, ibuprofen. And uh, yeah, it was... Um, 100 or excuse me 200 tablets was five bucks 200 milligrams god some of them go up to 800 milligrams my god you know jeez you'd be you'd be pain free i'll guarantee you <laughs> yo god almighty you know so but be that as it may as you grow older uh, apparently you have to learn some of these things about drugs which i have never really thought about before I'm 76 years old I take no prescription drugs at all so far I'm hanging on by my fingernails so we'll try to keep that going uh, feel pretty good right now other than this wound from the skin surgery is a little bit sore so to speak but this ibuprofen stuff the 200 milligram tablet I took at 9 a.m. seems to be giving me some relief because I can turn my head left and right now without screaming. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, you, ah! But we're doing all right again. It's Saturday morning. This is Marble Falls, Texas. Gasoline's about $2.90 a gallon, close to $3 in different places, but I filled up for two. What was it? 289? I think it was 289 a gallon for regular unleaded. Yeah, this thing is not economical. This is a Class C motorhome, 24 feet long, with on a Chevy chassis. A Chevy Express 3500 with a six liter engine, which is a gas haul. You get 10 miles a gallon. Uphills, downhills, against the wind, towing, it's 10 miles a gallon. It doesn't change. I mean, you know, whatever you're doing. I mean, that's it's like 55 miles an hour, 55 to 60. If you raise that up to 70, it'd drop down to 8 pretty quick. But anyway, I got me a good soda, a mix of Big Red and Diet Dr. Pepper. You know that's good for you. I just couldn't resist it. I also got me a breakfast taco, chorizo, egg, and bean at a local place here. And so we're, we're celebrating something. And I got to go. It's my turn. It's my turn. My turn. Had somebody come in to the campground last night in a fifth wheel and park not too close to me. There, there's one spot that's about, I don't know, 40 yards away, whatever it is. You know, they're not jammed up. I mean, they're, they're, it's really a nice spot. It's called Fishers of Men Ranch, but it's a, they've got some RV hookups, and they've also got dry camping and tent camping, and they also have, for your pleasure, uh, like a bed, but I don't, well, it's a bed and breakfast, kind of, but I'm not sure they fix breakfast, but they have a kitchen available with some stuff for you to fix your own. I think that's how they got it set up. But yeah, Fishers of Men Campground near Marble Falls, Texas on Highway 1431 going toward Cedar Park. And that's where I've been for two weeks. 
got two more weeks to get some cataract surgery done and other thing and I'm hoping everything works out okay so far okay other than this skin thing turned out to be a little bit more of an adventure than I really wanted but not much you can do about it it's part of the part of growing older I guess for me it is and that's all that matters I'm doing me best I can I'm hanging on So for you people that are taking, you know, you got to be careful taking that ibuprofen and the acetaminophen or however you pronounce it, because you know you mix a little alcohol with it, and you're you're creating a bomb, particularly your liver. But some people, I guess, do whatever they do, and then they wonder why they have health issues. But at least I got some, the, the stuff I got. The, ibuprofen it's tablets but it's little tablets you know what I mean because it's 200 milligrams and I'm able to swallow those easily this morning per my surgeon's instructions I was supposed to take one half of one of those antibiotic pills you break them in half okay I broke them in half oh, there's three in a bottle and so I broke them in half so that's six halves Good thinking. But it says on the bottle, do not, do not chew. In other words, don't chew up the tablet, swallow it whole. Well, I looked at that tablet and I'm thinking, you know, if you try to swallow this whole, you're going to choke on it. And then I thought, well, maybe, you know, if I just put it, mix it you know, kind of with some food while I'm chewing or something, but don't chew the tablet, then when I swallow the food, the tablet will go down. Okay? Wrong! <laughs> Shit! God damn, that thing got hung up in my throat. 20 minutes later, it finally went down. But God darn, that is so aggravating, man. I mean, when you get older, see your your little sphincter there, your little throat thing, your, your swallower gets narrower and uh, that's a good word there. That's a very technical term, swallower. You know, your pipe uh, kind of gets narrower, and so you have to be careful swallowing pills, and particularly you know, if you eat uh, white meat chicken or, or steak and you don't chew it well, you're in trouble, I'll guarantee you. There ain't no way around it. Either. Well, you can have some surgery, I guess. It puts you about a four inch pipe in there where you can drop a whole pizza without chewing it. You know, I guess you can do that. And maybe some people have. This is a windy little road. And I feel sorry for the people that get behind me because I ain't no hurry at all. Well, I'm, I'm going 50. The speed limit I think is 55. It's not like I'm stopping the highway. But anyway, for you guys out there that are getting a little older every year like me, uh, you might as well start learning a little bit about medication. I mean, I, I'm not saying you need to start taking prescription drugs because I'm totally against that. But these two common things like acetaminophen and whatever that other one is and ibuprofen, uh, those are fairly common, I found out. And uh, But you still need to be careful. You know, it is what it is. It's a drug. But having said that, enjoy your life. And if you need some painkiller, uh, I will vouch for the 200 milligram ibuprofen now because it's been a little over an hour, maybe an hour, 20 minutes since I took the 200 milligram tablet and it, it's already uh, had some significant effect. I mean, my, the area where the wound is is much less painful. So tonight, luck, I'll be able to sleep much better. It says you double the dose. I'm not going to do that. But, uh, but God Almighty, they had some that were 800 milligrams. Jesus Christ. I mean, you know, never mind. I said that in the beginning. But having said that, guys, grow older with ease. Try to take care of your health and enjoy your life one day at a time. Thumbs up, guys. Carpe diem, adios, bye-bye, buy anything you want. Anytime, but if you think about it, use the Amazon link in the 
description of all of my videos. Why? Because it doesn't cost you a penny. Just click on it, go to Amazon, buy whatever you want. And I gotta keep my eyes open now and be sure I don't miss my turn. Unfortunately, I don't have to make any more trips to Cedar Park because the next thing I have done is removing the stitches on my wound and that will be done in Marble Falls at the Westlake Dermatology Office there. Much more convenient, for sure. Oh, also, whenever you're, if you're taking ibuprofen, you're not supposed to be taking it 48 hours before any surgery. I read that in the fine print. So, like, I've got the cataract surgery coming up on Thursday next week. That means that Tuesday is my last day for my drug. So, let me get around this curve here where I can hit the video. Now, this road's not that wide. You know? But we turn left right up here anyway. And you know, there's a shoulder here on the right for people to come on by you while you're turning left here. I promise you, they will not do it. There, there's a car parked right behind me. Right now, and I have to wait on this guy to come out. And he's just going to sit there and look at me. Why is he doing that? Well, what do you know? Way to go, guy. Some good reflexes. So here we are, guys. Good entrance here. Get out of the traffic. And stop. Enjoy your life, ladies and gentlemen. Don't become a drug addict like me. <laughs> Adios. Bye-bye.